Well, welcome along to the Odyssey of Adventures with Otis. Uh, this evening we're going to walk the three bridges, maybe do a figure of eight. And in the meantime, we're going to take in the sunset setting over the Port Castle. Okay, Otis, come on, let's move. Well, hopefully, you can hear us over the traffic noise. And here we are, just coming up to the Newport Town Bridge. Well, this particular bridge was opened in 1927 and of course it crosses the River Esk from Clarence Place right away over to the High Street in the city centre. But this isn't the first of the Newport Bridges. The uh, first stone bridge was built in the 1800s and um, that was erected by a chap called David Edwards. And it was all, that was widened in 1866 and added footpaths to both sides. And what makes the first bridge famous is back in March 1913. Famous escape artist Harry Houdini jumped off the bridge with his hands tied and feet shackled and he was then arrested by the police. Well from here we can see the Newport footbridge and the Georgie bridge as we're headed and we're going to have a look at the wave on the way. And here's the Newport coat of arms. And if we look back where we come from, we can make out it was the Newport Technical College. I'll just zoom in to make out the cenotaph as well. That's the main Newport cenotaph. We'll do a video on that sometime. And Otis is here, busy watering the plants. <laughs> and Otis. And that's the, uh, the underpass that takes us over to the The old green crossing, I should say. <laughs> and ahead of us, we have the Newport Wave. And it looks like Otis is eager to pull us there. Well, the wave was built and erected in 1990, and it's 50 tons of sheet steel standing 14 meters high. Well, it was constructed in Newport and it was designed by Peter Fink, and it reflects Newport's history of steel manufacturing and the foundation of the town of the banks of the River Esk. I think it looks well some days it's ugly some days it's quite quaint And the tall tower up ahead of us is the Chartist Tower, built in 1966 to commemorate and a tribute to the 1839 Newport Rising. That's the Chartist political movement. You okay there, Otis? Good boy. Come on, let's head over to the Riverfront Theatre. Well, the Riverfront Theatre was built in 2004, completed in 2004. Looks like they're doing some more work on it. But back in 2002, um, a medieval ship was discovered in the banks of the River Esk. Well, it was excavated and actually stored at the Riverside Theatre for a little while until we found a permanent uh, place for it. Well, it's a gorgeous evening. All these lovely houses overlooking the River Esk here. Once upon a time they were going to create a marina here, but uh, that never happened. What do you think, Otis? Well, you just enjoy the smells. Good boy. Well, that's just led me on to thinking now about the Newport ship. We'll have to do a video of that one day. I'll see if we can get permission to uh, <laughs> just get permission to video it one day. And here we are on Cortese Walk. And just have a look at a plaque just for John because it's all about fish. I'm not going to read it out though, John. I think you've probably read it before. If anybody wants to read it, they can pause it now and have a look and zoom in. Okay, let's carry on, Otis.
Well, it's one of those fortunate days when we catch the tide, almost at high tide as well, so at least we've got lots of water to look at and not just the mud. Well, I almost forgot, I was going to say that uh, the opening concert in October of 2004 when the, this centre opened was Catherine Jenkins and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. It's not just a theatre though, it's an art centre as well, where they hold uh, workshops as well as performances, got workshops and also they've got a film screen. They show roughly 150 films a year. And here's a little bit of information on Katezi Walk, which is the, the path that we're following alongside the riverside. And this is Alcritty House, which is a renovated old corn silo. I'm not quite sure what this black thing is. Answers on postcard. <laughs> <laughs> come on, Otis. This way. Good boy. Oh, this. Come on, Otis. Oh, he's off making friends all the time, this boy. Come on, Otis. This way. Well, a while back there used to be um, an old coal train just stored here uh, on rails, but um, yeah, apparently they've removed it and they've put a boxer there instead. So I suppose we better go over and pay visit to the boxer. Oh, Otis is going to pay visit to this toadstool. Okay, come on Otis, this way. Well, this is a statue of David Bomber Pierce, and uh, yeah, he's Newport's Rocky. There he is, very happy indeed with his belt. Okay, and this is, oh, it looks like a National Cycleway Path sign. Yeah, Monobrecon Canal to the left, Transport Bridge to the right, and Otis at the post. Oh no, this. Um, we've visited this uh, map once before, so we'll uh, we'll leave that today. Come on, boy. And this is Newport's Friars Walk, which opened November 2015. I remember it really well. The beautiful waterfalls leading up to it. It was a cine world and lots and lots of shops. <laughs> you are. What's your channel called? Adventures with Otis. It is. He's Otis. Is it on TikTok? When will this uh, be YouTube. Posted? Probably tomorrow. A little bit of fame there for you, Otis. And here's looking over at Georgie Bridge, which is going to be our next port of call. And we've just headed over from watching the sun setting over the castle and over the Newport Bridge. Come on then, Otis. Are you waiting for me? I was going to tell you a little bit about this bridge that we're walking on. This the Newport Cent uh, City footbridge, and uh, yeah, it's made of steel. This strange steel uh, floor, as you can tell by the rickety rackety. Uh, it was built in 2006. We'll be passing over it later, so I'll talk a bit more about it then. And you can still see the wooden structures there. That's the uh, the pier posts for the uh, the original shipping grounds. And here's looking over at Newport University. They're looking beautiful today. Yep, 
Now the new buildings here all built along Rosling Close and Rodney Road and uh, this is the sort of the front fascia they've got over the river and look at the views they have especially at the sunset wow absolutely beautiful so that's the Newport Bridge that we just walked over here's the university and we're heading down to Georgie Bridge Well, it's lovely to see this uh, all paved and yeah great to have these footpaths walking around the riverbank now, not so long ago I mean sort of 20 years ago this was just mud banks and as a kid you wouldn't have got anywhere near the riverbank so this is this is absolutely wonderful and to the left of us was a uh, originally uh, an industrial site called Kovrak Road and here we have the bridge right ahead of us So this is the foot of Georgie Bridge on the east side and we're going to head over to the west bank funny enough. This was opened in uh, April 1964 and uh, it was the very first cable stay bridge in the UK. But before its opening in 1964 the only crossing of the River Rusk was the, at Newport Central where the Newport Bridge which is carrying at the time the A48 road but you also had the Newport Transborough Bridge so just two other crossings that was all before this one uh, was created of course the A48 now runs over the uh, the Newport City Bridge which is the, the white bridge to the centre of the city which carries the SDR road which uh, is now the A48 well, there were many grand names proposed for this bridge, but eventually it was named the relatively small George Street on the western bank of the River Esk. So there we go, it was called the Four Poster or George Street Bridge. And one little bit of information a lot of people don't know, this bridge was originally planned to be six lanes wide. But with the M4 uh, US Bridge already planned further upstream, it was reduced down to four lanes. And on completion, this road became the A48. <laughs> Let me go a pal back and let you there, Otis. There he is. <laughs> oh dear, you must back every dog that walks over the bridge. Okay, Otis, come on, let's carry on. Well, we got some beautiful sky tonight, don't we? The sunset is certainly. Uh, Made some beautiful shades of pink in the skies. What do you think, Otis? Oh, he's just eager to, to go over the bridge. Oh, look at those beautiful skies coming through. Silhouetted. What do you think, Otis? He's not interested. He just wants to move on like the old hobo. Well, I think the only bridge left to cross now, Otis, is the Transporter Bridge. We'll have to wait for that to open again, probably next spring. That'll be an interesting uh, way across the river. So, Newport, now we have uh, the Transporter Bridge, we have the New City Bridge, we have the Georgie Bridge, and we have the Town Bridge. All of which, at some time, were probably called the A48. So, you can see the Transport Bridge there in the distance. And there's the, the new city bridge, which is the white one there, which now carries the A48. A 
that's the Southern Dispute Road now looking across Newport looking over towards Liswery and then over towards Somerton then you can make a Beechwood area Beechwood Park just behind the pillars and then you've got Victoria Avenue and Christchurch Road and then in the background just about making out the hills of uh, Pontypool and around sort of Thalian and then you've got the Tumbalam Hills and there's Tumbalam along with the Charters Town and if you pan around a little bit more you just about to see the St Willis Cathedral do is we'll head down the steps and uh, head down towards the riverside okay these are very steep so slowly Otis good boy no oh, wait wait there good boy hang on a second let me catch up okay ah slowly okay wait there <laughs> Slow down a bit. Good boy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> He's eager to get down. Oh, too many smells to get to, is there, Otis? Come on, this way. It's turned over back towards the river bank of the River Esk. Well, just look at the size of this bridge, Otis. I think it's 58 years old now. Absolutely phenomenal. Never had a problem with it from what I gather. Nicely made. That makes it two years older. Otis, two years older than the Seven Bridge. That's the very first Seven Bridge. Wow. Well, we're going to go left here, Otis. And, yeah, left. This way, good boy. And head over to the, uh, the Newport City footbridge. Okay, after you've finished, have a good sniff. <laughs> Come on, Otis. Good boy. Come on. And next up ahead of us we got the University, I think it's now the USW isn't it? University of South Wales. Uh, Newport campus, yes. And the Riverside campus opened in 2011 I believe. Yeah, I had to stop recording there for a little bit because they're playing music and uh, uh, looks like they've got a dance routine going on there in the, in the uni. I wonder once upon a time there were three campuses in Newport for uh, for the uni. You had um, Caleon, and you had Alterine, and this one. Unfortunately, the other two campuses have been uh, bulldozed to the ground, and they're now uh, housing estates. Come on, boy. And here we are, coming up to the footbridge once again. Come on, Otis. This way. There we go, we're back to the footbridge. A little bit less busy this time, Otis, heading back. Well, the Newport City footbridge opened back in September 2006. And uh, yeah, it's, it's, it took very tedious months to construct. I remember the, the guys here having great difficulty, first of all, getting the footings and then uh, getting the, uh, the large 
archway uh, installed. It was all good fun though. My dad and I came in sort of monthly really just to see how they were getting on. Well the bridge is made up of two A-frame masts which support the bridge from the west bank which is the uh, Friars Walk end where we just walked from. There's something I didn't realise to the other day, the bridge actually stands 230 feet above ground which is quite high really. For a high tide it's only about uh, 13 foot above the water. Finally the bridge spans, I think it's 470 feet or maybe 476 feet, something like that anyway. It's almost 150 metres. Well, look, this we're going to take a left here and this way. Notice. Okay, well, looks so like I'm going to sign off now, so thank you very much for joining us. Please click the subscribe button, and uh, yeah, that's very handy for our stats. And if you like the video, don't forget, please click the like button. And comments are always welcome, and we'll do our utmost to, uh, to answer you. Okay, so till next time, all the best. Cheerio from Adventures with Otis. Bye. <laughs>